Hey everybody, Substatica here. Well, the time has come for us to release the mods we've been working on for The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. There's going to be a link in the description to where you can go download them. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install them. But before we get to that, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 25,000 subscribers, it'd be fantastic to have you on the team. Also like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video or the mods or any mods that you'd like to see in The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Let's get to it. All right, I've gone ahead and downloaded a mod, the Bus Roof Access mod. And I've also downloaded some software that we're gonna need for the mod to function. But first, let's open up the zip file of the mod and we'll read the readme because that's gonna tell us what we need to do. Some of the mods are slightly different in that you may have to create some directories. So pay attention to what it says on the mod site for that mod, as well as in the readme that's packaged with the mod. For this one, it's our standard. It says extract mod package contents to this directory. And it's a different directory if you have the Rift Oculus version of the game versus the Steam VR version. So these are the two directories that we need to extract this mod package to. We also need the Unreal Mod Unlocker by Illusory Software. So I've also downloaded that. You can go to their site. There'll be a link in the description and in the README packaged with the mods. And it's illusory.dev. And you can just download the basic free version. So first, we're going to install the Unreal Mod Unlocker. And it's going to allow the game to actually load up these mods. So I'm just going to double click on it. Now it's going to ask us to browse to the binary folder of the game that we're interested in modding. And for The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, it's different again for Steam and Oculus. And those directories will be in the description of this video. But basically you wanna find the root of the game directory and then binaries slash win64. So if we browse or open here, I've already got that selected for the Steam version of the game. TWD, Saints and Sinners, TWD, Binaries, Win64. So we're gonna select that and then click Patch. Looks like you're patching the game for the first time. Do you want to install the mod unlocker to this game? Okay, game is now patched. And if we were to go to that directory, we will see that the mod unlocker has installed Unreal Mod plugins as well as this dxgi.dll. Now, the first time you run the game, the mod unlocker is going to throw up a window saying that it's created a settings file because you've launched it for the first time. Just click OK and then relaunch the game. So now we have the mod unlocker installed. The next thing we have to do is install the actual mod. Now, the directories of where to install the mod are in the readme. It's different than the binaries. It's in the content directory of the game. And like I said, look at the readme of the mod that you downloaded. Some of them will need you to create directories within the content directory, but not this one. We just need to put the contents of the mod zip file into the content directory of the game. And again, that's different for the Oculus Rift version versus the Steam version of the game. So we're going to go to the Steam VR version content directory and we can do that from the binary directory. We just go up to TWD and then into content. You'll see here by default, the directory has two directories, movies and packs. So we're gonna open up our mod and we're gonna grab the contents of it. We don't need to copy the readme, just the maps folder here. And we're gonna drag that right into the content directory. And that's it. This mod is now installed and we can run the game. Remember, the mod unlocker is going to prompt the first run of the game and you'll have to close the game or it'll close itself and then you have to rerun it and then the mod will be installed. Well here we are, I've loaded into the game after installing the mod unlocker as well as the bus roof access mod and that's going to allow me to walk right up to the front of the bus here, climb up on the hood and then climb up onto the roof so that we can have a seat in one of these chairs we've been looking at. 
and enjoy the beautiful night sky. Well, there you have it. Head on over to the link in the description, download your favorite mod, get it installed, and get playing. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.